Hello and welcome to Pointwise's Tutorial Tuesday where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In today's video we're going to highlight a technique that can be used to improve the quality of your T-Rex volume grid in pinch point regions. Without fine-tuned control over the boundary layer extrusion process, pinch points can often create a scenario where you get lower quality elements generated in the regions where you have colliding fronts. On screen you'll notice I have two identical blocks. These are a simplified representation of pinch points that you might find within your geometry. The block on the left has been initialized using strictly the default T-Rex input criteria for the unstructured block solver. The block on the right will be initialized using the input criteria for T-Rex that enables the user to locally terminate extrusion fronts in the regions of pinch points. But first, let's examine the quality of the block on the left. Let's take a look at maximum included angle. I've capped the histogram at 165 degrees. You'll notice that there are 23 elements above 165 degrees, with a maximum angle of 174 degrees. Now let's take a look at the volume ratio. Here again I've capped the histogram at 15. And you'll notice that there are 50 elements above 15, with a maximum volume ratio of 64. Now let's start work on the second block. As mentioned, this block will be initialized with modifications to two specific T-Rex input criteria I often use to mitigate or help mitigate quality issues within the regions of a pinch point. Those two specific input criteria are the collision buffer and the isotropic height. The collision buffer specifies the minimum buffer to be maintained between encroaching advancing tetrahedra in terms of a multiplicative factor of the current cell height. And then the isotropic height specifies the scaling factor used to scale the normal isotropic height of a vertex. This will allow the T-Rex algorithm to stop the growth of anisotropic cells before they reach the isotropic state. These input criteria can be used independently, however it is often the case using a metandem will provide you the best results. And as always, these values are case dependent which may necessitate different values for your geometry. Now let's compare the quality. You'll notice that the maximum angle here is 170.8 degrees with only six elements above 165. And then as a volume ratio, we have a volume ratio maximum of 19.5 with only 36 elements over 15. And finally, let's take a look at a cut from both blocks to get a visual representation of what these modifications do. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop us a line below or connect with us via Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.